This playthrough is rated T for teen. Wow, what a quaint little village. Greetings and salutations, viewers. While we're back here with another episode, Dark Cloud 2. In the last episode, we finished Monotaki Village proper and uh, beat Master some sense into Master Uta with the help of uh, Goro uh, and his mighty axe and his, and his helmet. Oh, no, he didn't have a helmet. So Anyway, now we're in a Brown Boo Village to you know, to find the, the moon people. Uh, not quite get to the moon like in Final Fantasy IV with like the whale, but yeah, close enough. So, Made it! Made it! Chief, this is weird. A human has come to the village. Hmm, they never learn. We will have to go with the beware aware of nights when stars fall plan. Yetsi Kraken. Uh, why are there, why are there, uh, uh, oh, I forgot what they're called from Star Wars. Uh, the, the little, the little guys on, uh, Tatooine, you know, the Poutini. Um, uh, I can't believe I forgot their names all of a sudden. I'll remember it later, so. Kraken! Okay, I don't know what you mean by that, but okay. Kiwi? What? What? Okay, fine, whatever. Keep looking around, I guess. That's a nice, quaint village. I love, I love the music to this village, too, so. Moose. Hey, what on? Leave me alone, will ya? Okay. Well, is anyone gonna talk to me or tell me anything interesting, or are you just all gonna keep threatening me or whatever? How about you, Theo? Who are you? Okay, I'm um, nobody, apparently. Okay. Hmm. Interesting little herb or liquid or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. What are those things in the water, anyway? Like, are these plants, or... Is that face in the plant? Or, it must be some type of plant, anyway. So. What the? Ow, that was mildly annoying. Whoa, bingo! First try, look at that! Like, it's boring, kind of. What do you do with this? Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, do we just get go over his travels or something? Traveled or something like that? So, you've come around. What does a human want in a place like this? The Dark Genie? What is that? It's no use talking nonsense. No, no, I'm serious, dude. I'm sure stri striking your head under the water will help you to reconsider playing the fool. You're gonna, br you're gonna waterboard me? Holy crap! Damn. What? This person seems to be telling the truth. Crystal has. Please just come. The crystal. Here we go. Brrr, crunk. Nice cigar, dude. <laughs> Is that how this game got rated T? <laughs> mm, I feel a tremendous power. I think he heard, saw us too. Like, uh, yeah, you could tell he's living the high life with sitting in his comfy chair, smoking a fat cigar. It's, uh, it's life for me. That must be the dark genie the guy was talking about. Is this the evil genie of darkness that our ancestors sealed? Probably. 
See, I'm trying to stop him, so... You know, help me out here? Help a brother out? What? You're telling us to seal the thing again? I mean, that'd probably be a good idea. No way, never! We can never seal that monster! Not with the ability we have now! What, are you guys weak or sauce or something? Theo's right! The magic is indeed the secret power the moon people have passed on through generations! But as we lived in this land for so long, we seem to have lost that ability. Well, what good are you? And then we pull out a crossbow and just cap them all. We just don't have the power to seal the genie anymore! It doesn't mean that it's impossible, though. Well, that's good. What do we do then? There are no moon people left who can still use magic. But if you go to the moon, go to moon. <laughs> it doesn't say go to the moon. It says go to moon. There should be definitely be those that can. Oh, we just have to go to the moon, of course. Exactly, you're right. We need to go to the moon. Oh, he's going to go to the moon, but yeah, whatever. Must be some weird translation stuff. Yeah, how do we get to the moon? A rocket, of course, but... People in Brown Boo have always prepared for this day to return. We have a ship to take us to the moon. Oh. And in a particular place. What? Can we really do such a thing? It's okay. We won't use it for a while anyway. Well, I mean, what were you going to use it for? Going to the moon? Bring the moon orbs here. Roger. The orb of the moon is a sphere to move the moon ship. With the orb, you can remotely control the moon ship from anywhere. Kind of like a remote clicker or something like that? Like, find your car keys? Oh no, the moon orb is missing. Uh, of course. What do you mean? Does anyone know where the orb is? Did you leave it under your bed? No, sir. No, sir. The other day, Josco went to Queens to sell moon fruits. Could it be that I was accidentally mixed together with the moon fruits? We went to Queens, right? So it probably. No, I'm just kidding. Josco! Yes? Do you know about the moon orbs? Now that you ask, I do remember a strange colored fruit among the others. That must be it. How could you do that? You fool moron. I'm so sorry, Chief. I was <laughs> bowing, huh? Hmm. Well, what do we do about that? Seems like we can't let you use the moon ship. Without the moon orb, we can't operate the moon ship. Okay, we know that. Get it, jeez. Say, why not go to Queens to find the orbs? I don't know, Queen, uh, Queens at this time of year? I don't know about that. Yeah, that's a good idea. You can find the orb on your own, then we can operate the moon ship. You're the ones who lost it. These kind of things should be done by oneself, I suppose. For you, because you guys lost it. You'll return to it after you're done with it. And with them doing all the work, what are you doing? Now I'll mark Queens on your map so you can go there. You better get moving soon. Off you go! Uh, well, can't just go straight to the moon. You have to go the long way around. So. Alright, does anyone else have any different dialogue? Yeah, give us a reason to hear more music. Even if Mr. Nimmo did, I'll never prove humans. Huh, <laughs> humans, huh? Well, what a jerk. What do humans ever do to you? Do they steal some candy from you or something like that? Do they knock you on your behind? I don't know. Uh, that strange colored fruit was the moon orb. Oh my. Yeah, let's see. Uh, cool. His name's Cool? <laughs> Sounds like a hipster. I can't believe that Mayor Nimu is helping humans. Yeah, I don't know why you have a problem with that. I mean, technically, one of our companions is a cat, so you're not helping all humans. And Goro is kind of considered subhuman by many, so... Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, Pete, no. Pete, no. What you? You're the first human our mayor liked. I wonder why you. And his name's Pickle, huh? Do you go good on sandwiches? Yeah, I'm just seeing if anyone has a different dialogue before we head on to Queens. This chamber is where moon fruits grow and are stored. Strange Guard is his name. Well, you are strange, I guess, by guarding just moon orbs. Wait, shouldn't you have multiple ones? Because you can grow them, or... Oh, we conveniently don't. Mongo. Uh, Mongo is just pawn in the game of life. I hear that ship right is in Queens is haunted. Burr. Yeah. Well, it ain't a JRPG unless we go to a haunted ship, that's for sure. Actually, probably one of my favorite haunted ship scenarios was a... Uh, I think it was in Grandia, if I recall. Um, that was a pretty good um, part of the game. Did the fruit hit you? Sorry, let me make it up to you. The key word to create the mighty heaven's cloud are ice, thunder, wind, holy, dino, beast, and metal. Of course, to build it up, you must have a sword to begin with. Oh, all those elements, huh? Did they form Voltron? Litchy. I hear Queens is a great place with lots of good food. And that's true in real life, too. Actually, I've never been to Queens. So I have no Queens in New York, so I have no idea like what that place is about. I only make fun of it because it's easy to make fun of New York. 
in general. Such a congested and dirty place. Not as dirty as it used to be, I'll admit, but uh, although it's not as bad as uh, some other cities in my country. <laughs> Ooh boy. Okay, this is almost as long as the stairs from Metal Gear Solid 3, or yeah, Metal Gear Solid 3. Alright, Mayor Mem. Nim. Queens is a merchant district. Be careful not to go crazy shopping there. Okay. I think that is it. I think we talked to everyone, so. Alright, let's uh, go to other areas. Where is the moon people on this map? Aha, Brand Boo Village. Uh, before we go on, let me double check and see if we missed some treasure. I think we got most of it. Um. Uh, but I'm not quite sure. And is it still nighttime? I might be able to like try fishing for the the Garion if, if that's the case. It is nighttime. Hmm. Well, let's take a quick look around, see if we're missing any treasure. And then if not, we'll go to Queens and start that scenario up. Uh, I'm not seeing it. I will off screen double check just to make sure I didn't miss any. Uh, I don't think Goros has any, but like I said, I'll, I'll double check that and then get back to you next episode if I've missed anything so all right well since we're here let me go ahead and save and see if we can get the see if we get the fish to appear or not if not not a big deal um i'll try i'll just do that again or just try it in another episode to get him to spawn like i said there's a place that's more more likely for him to appear than here but like i said it'll be a while till we get to that so it depends on how much how soon you want to have a. Uh, um where is well, sometimes you can barely see where the fish is located uh, I can't s oh well way over there now let's see if we can get them to I don't know if we can get him to spawn all the, this far away I don't know if you can see him he's like at the very top of the top of my screen there and I don't even know if he'll come this way Oh, he's coming. Oh, there's a couple of them there. Unfortunately, in most cases, you can't tell what fish it is until um, until you actually catch it. it. Looks like none of them are going for the poison apple. So I don't think I got one to spawn. Because usually they would... Because he eats poison apples is what the thing is, but none of them are going for it. And it's supposed to be at night too, so. Alright, what's uh Oh, there's there's a guy over there. I don't if I remember correctly, time doesn't pass while you're fish, so. Alright, let's see. I don't yeah, I don't think I got him to spawn. Because none of them are going for it. Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't just because you have the fish and it's nighttime doesn't mean he's gonna spawn at this point, so. Okay. Let me uh let me quit and then redo it. I'll try it one more time and if nothing happens then I'll uh I'll do it another day. Like I said, he's it he doesn't appear as often here. Uh, I, I was about to say, do I still have the poison apple on? I didn't think I did. Uh where are, there's there's a couple of fish right there. Let's see if we can get him to get over here. Oh, I said, even though that fish is big, that doesn't mean that that's the Gorion over there. That could be just a general fish. Unfortunately, he swam out of my range, so I have no idea if he's going to come this way or not. Although, usually, I think the Gorion is technically a large fish when it comes to, like, um... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get into... Or, I don't know. This is probably one of the more annoying places to fish just because of how, like, the range of the area. At least with the one pond, like, in uh, Narune, you are, you know, it's such a small area that you're you're bound to get that fish to get its attention or something like that. But in this case, uh, right, come on. I just want to see if you actually, I need him to be actually near the thing just to see if he's actually, like, attra attracted to this or not. Yeah, I don't, I'm not. Even if that's him, he's not coming. Oh, there he is. Nope. He, I don't think he's the fish because he's not. He didn't come go towards the fish. I think usually if you put the right thing on the line, they usually go for it. 
I want to say immediately, but no. Uh, okay, I don't want to spend the whole episode trying to look for him. So, okay, that's a bust. Yep. Come on. Oops. I keep pressing. Continue fishing. So, all right. Sorry about that. Just I was hoping we would uh, maybe get a chance to catch him, but like I said, maybe I'll do it off screen, and then maybe at the beginning of the episode, maybe I'll show actually catching him or something like that. But no, nope, I don't see any treasure. So if they're there, then uh, and then I am. Come on. Give me a walking place. Thank you. Okay. Let's uh, travel to Queens and see what this place is like. Yeah, didn't expect Queens to be uh be in an Arabic town, did you? Or a town like you know, like a desert town or something like that. Look at this whole area. Yeah, like all of the towns in this place, there's no one there. No one to see, just the quiet sounds. Alright, let's uh come on. Come on. Give me a give me a walking spot. <laughs> Alright, we'll just pop you there. I was hoping there'd be one closer by, but nope. Yeah, it's morning. Still no one's here. Not a surprise. Let's check that boat. Oh, there's someone. Hello, good sir. Oh, you, so there are others, humans left other than myself. I thought I was the only one left to this worldwide world. Good to know there's someone, even though you're only a kid. I'm Brando. I sell goods here in Queens. And you? So you are towing. And oh, we don't have to stand here talking. Why don't you go over to my shop? Just point it out, shall you? Yeah. Seems like a nice little place. So what's your story, man? Only a survivor like me? We could be friends. What? They brought that fat beast back to life? Fools, they must be from the east. They're up to some madness again. Those blasted easterners. Blood-sucking scum of the earth. Even back then. Damn. And so what's the middle of like that you're looking for? Or so what's that? But I see. Maybe it's lost in the undersea treasury. Why would it be there? It's a shipwreck at the bottom of the Queen's Sea. Most merchants and queens use it as a warehouse. But it's changed lately. Now there's monsters everywhere. That giant monster attacked queens must be the cause. Today it's so dangerous a place that we cannot even go get our merchandise. Do you still want to go there? I have no choice, alright. Alright, I'll help you. Come, follow me. Well, thanks for the help. I appreciate it. This Queens, this Queens is a town of merchant traders. Some items we handle are really rare and expensive. Such expensive items need special care and handling. The safest place to keep such items here in Queens is... It's kind of a huge safe at the bottom of the sea, but you're wondering why that ship sank there, aren't you? I think they reuse this theme for um, Dark Cloud 2, I think. It sounds very familiar, like in terms of like... I think I remember... They, they, I think they do a variation of this in the second game. Which is weirdly called Dark Chronicle, and uh, at least it translated Japanese and the instead of Dark Cloud 2. I mean, in America they just called Dark Cloud 2, but in Japan it was called the first game was roughly called Dark Cloud, and the second game they called Dark Chronicle. But it was about a hundred years ago that Queen reigning over Queens passed away. That's why it's called Queens, and that's when the town people who adored the Queen sunk her favorite ship along with her. That's the wrecked ship at the bottom of the sea near Queens. When Queens revived as a merchant town, the late Queen's sunken ship started to serve as an undersea treasury. Sounds a bit disrespectful, but merchants are practical. They make the best in any situation. What? Oh, how are you going to get there? Take a look at that. It's a submarine turtle that makes trips to and from the shipwreck. Hmm. 
Now we're doing weird things to get to our forest. Before it was just the cave and then the, just walking in the forest. Here we actually have to go into a contraption of some sort. Is it an apparatus of Qualish? No. Well, not as cool. Oh, and uh, Jawas are the name of the things from Star Wars. I just now remembered. That's why the merchants used to ride to, to and store valuable items in the treasure. They're all yours. It only carries one person, so you have to go alone. And Jawa and Goro. Goro. How do you operate it? It's easy. You just get in and it'll take you to the shipwreck. It was designed for merchants who know little about machines and are only good at counting money. Yeah, what are good what are merchants good for? <laughs> It'll be in my store, so stop by I'll be in my store and stop by if you need anything. My store carries lots of stuff. Yeah, we actually get a short store like right at the beginning with uh, in this chapter. Oh, I'll give you a hand, but uh, I have to charge you for the goods. Even at times like this, a merchant is a merchant. But the world is pretty much destroyed. I mean, what are you gonna spend that on? Good take care. Maybe better to have a barter system more than just straight up gold. Or whatever, but anyway. Yeah, we can go down into the submarine. We'll go ahead and do that today, though. And the submarine is mainly um, uh, uh, undead and um, water creatures and stuff like that. So. Can I shop here? Let's see what he's got. Uh, he's got auto repair powder, which is nice for those who are worried about weapons breaking. Uh, which, there are certain parts of enemies in the dungeon that we'll have to worry about that, so that would be something to consider saving some money for. Uh, yeah, we'll have to buy a revival powder. Not right now, obviously. Uh, so, yeah. Nothing too unique. I think his inventory gets changes over after uh, a certain point, if I remember. Hello. Did you find that mood orb thing? Oh, it's... Let's go looking where I think it might be, too. I don't think there's any treasure in here, if I recall. At least not immediately. Maybe maybe after a point or something like that. So, okay, yep, nothing here. So, all right. Well, let's uh, let's take a take a look at the shipwreck, shall we? And see what uh, see what we can see. Okay. Yeah, let's take a let's take a. Oh yeah, and we can fish off the pier, by the way, right in the submarine. Yeah, it does look like a turtle now that I think about it. This game seems to be weirdly inconsistent with its technology. is a Queens is a pretty good chapter for music not my not my favorite chapter I'll admit but uh, I like it I'm not sure what my favorite chapter in this game is like in terms of towns and stuff like that how big is this shipwreck that we need to go through every single yeah this is how you go through the different floors is by grabbing a hook and get pulled up to the different floors so yeah let's try floor number one not much here but hey oh you need to swap out a Goro's weapon to uh, back to his uh, regular mallet. The battle axe is powerful, but we must save that power for uh, for a rainy day and not to not to waste uh, its gloriousness. Mainly because I want to build up more uh, mallets uh, uh, so I can keep uh, so I can have a few of those because they're good for nice uh, attack jumps as well as uh, 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 endurance. So that's. Um, Zhao. <clears throat> I think I'll leave the bandit slingshot on for now just because of uh, um, its steel ability. So It's very calming for... Actually, most of the dungeon's music has been calming. Actually, when you think about it, it's just... I don't know. Just for a shipwreck, you think it'd be more like a yo-ho, yo-ho type of thing. But uh, all right, what do we got here? We got guinea gunnies. Those are... Oh, I got to pull out the old... Pull out the old... Uh, information thing again, so, alright, uh, let's see. Gunnies, they have dropped the sea killer when killed. Um, they, you could possibly drop, uh, let's see. 
Uh, soap can be stolen from them if you have a stealing item, which we do, uh, which it obviously cures um, goo condition. Um, and they can also drop EVs uh, as well. So, all right. So, yeah, we have to start looking into pulling in uh, weapons that have a... Uh, uh, C killer abilities. So let's see. C killer is yeah. Our C is not very strong. I think Aqua Marine. Yeah, that'll get some extra, extra damage on this creature. Yeah, undead and uh, and sea creatures, obviously. I think I'll have to look it up. I think. Oh, we got a new creature. Corse Corse Corsia. I think it's supposed to be Corsair, but Corsia will work too. Corsias. Uh, they are undead. They drop an undead buster. Uh, you could steal holy water from them, uh, possibly, and they can drop attack um, uh, tributes. That might be something worth worth grinding for. Is the is the attack thing? But either way, the chopper the chopper will defeat them. Yep. You know, like I said, attack plus two. So I actually might actually upgrade the weapon with the attack in this case. So uh, let's see. Up oh, there's the uh, well. I'll show it off. But the uh, let's see. What do we got? Oh, another course here. Uh, chopper is quite quite powerful at this point. Maybe I should use a slightly weaker weapon just to build it up. But yeah. maybe get that gladius. Maybe we get the road, the long and winding road. Looks like they don't do too much damage on my weapon HP. Let's see. Yeah, we're getting a bit more money now. So before that one, it's filling with water, and I hear things. I hear something like whistling. Use an item. Yeah, we don't have it. So, oh well. We may or may not get the drops. Uh, I don't remember it when I originally played this game like a long time ago. I don't remember uh, getting drops for that too often, uh, unless you grinded for uh, for it. So, uh, there's the exit. Yeah, you use a uh, there's a pulley that seems to have some function. Luckily, you don't have to do the three items thing anymore. It's back to one for this. So, let's see what's in here. I got a holy. Nice. We'll need some more holy. Yeah, you'll catch holy heck is what we will. Oh. Now, I guess I should have seen that coming just because... Well, I didn't see it coming because of the pillar. But. Yeah, what's here? Oops. Yeah, I got a tree. And yeah, some water. Nice. Let's fill everyone up. All right, back to that. Yeah, you can tell in this, instead of it being like a, a weird pool or something, that is a pool, but you can tell it's from basically the water seeping in into the... Although, would we want to draw a drink from the the uh, the water here? Because this is salt water, right? So, Yep, and, we're, and interesting enough, we still, now that we have Gora in the party, we'll now always encounter some, not on every floor, but we'll encounter more of those button presses to get through doors, so... Let's see, you got Rudy. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. It looks like these guys take two weapon HP per, per attack. Sometimes three. Probably get one more. Yeah, let's fill. Let's repair that. No, a chest. Uh, let's see, I don't have a treasure key, do I? I used that last time. Uh, let me, let me, let me explore first because that way if I end up like choosing, for example, curse instead of poison, I can run straight to the exit. So, and we'll just leave the dungeon afterwards, so we won't keep the affliction on. Because you only keep it if you keep going through the dungeon. Which I don't know why you would just keep going. Like the game, like I said, oh, there it is, the hook. That's how we get out. So, yeah, I don't know why you keep going through the dungeon if you're weak like that. You would just leave. So, or use escape powder if it really came down to it. Let's see. Ooh, and a drink. So we could heal ourselves from the poison, but uh, I, since we could leave almost immediately, so uh, yes. No. What? Ah, oh, come on! I just. Oh, this game is just not. Does this not treat me well? It just. It just says no. You, you can. You can suck it. Ugh, man. This is what I get. I've been avoiding it before, but now I've just been like taking my chances, and it's just been kicking me in the butt. <sighs> Alright, let's. Uh, well, luckily I have a decent amount of. Uh, uh, high number of uh, repairs. Jeez. Could have been worse, I guess. Well, I mean, I would swap my weapon out if it really. if I didn't have any of them, so. 
I wouldn't be stupid enough to keep using it. And I have decent. I have a decent amount of weapons. Yeah, thunder I have a decent amount of weapons with a with a decent amount of a, a, attack on it. So nothing like the battle axe, of course, but. Oh yeah, I was thinking how I'd have to double check. I think it's at this point where we do start finding more creatures that start having more obvious magical weaknesses, because I guess at this point we might eventually get a decent like magic stat on a weapon, which that's probably the stat that has the slowest growth out of all the weapons. Is uh, Yeah, do you love me just covering the action with a pillar? Yeah, that's not my fault. That's the game design. Yeah, Throbbing Cherry. Vulgar. All right, let's uh, get out of here. All right, now we can try that chest. I'm hoping we get another mallet for, or another weapon for Goro, but hey. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's guess. So if it's poison, either way, uh, and I'm not weak on HP, so I could uh, suffer. Let's try it, curse. It is poison. Ah, no. Oh well. All right, poison. Now anyway, I so said I'm just gonna leave. So. Ooh, we get last judgment. It's a hammer for a. Uh, a mallet for our good old, good old friend here. Let's take a look at that. Holy crap, look at that damage. Last Judgment, hell of a strong hammer, loved by the gatekeeper of hell itself. Uh, I don't think this is his best weapon. Uh, it's definitely up there, though. Yeah, you need, oh, look at that. It needs more than 99 attack? Wah? Man, that was actually a really good find for, for us, wow. I, well, I, I said I was getting unlucky, but that's pretty lucky right there, getting the Last Judgment. I mean, it's not his best weapon, but it's definitely it's definitely a really good weapon. So. Oh, there's the hook. Hook for the pulley for carrying inside the ship. Uh, yep, go to the next level. Yeah, in this game, this is weird because, like in the like in like in the cave, you went downwards. In the forest, you had to go through different paths, but you're basically going straight. Here on the ship, you go up. The ship isn't that big, but man, whatever. Let's leave the ship. Let's see. Let me check and see what my our situation is doing. Now yeah, we're pretty close on that so let's uh go back to town can i sh slip into no i guess i have to move a bit further to get into the map mode you have to actually go into queens because weirdly enough the uh yeah the dungeon is outside of the city for purposes of exploration which is a different from before so what do we got i don't think we really have anything to really put down yeah nothing to really speak of so well, looks like we've gone from the lush, lush forests of Matataki Village to the sand-soaked dunes of uh, Queens, yet we go into the sea to get the treasures for this. A strange place indeed. Will we find under the sea? Perhaps SpongeBob SquarePants? God, I hope not. But find out next time in the next episode of Dark Cloud. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.